you just keep like a vlog or something? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Sometimes <laughs> it's just fun to record things, right? Sure. So I'm here with uh with, with Kevin. Uh and Kevin is uh he just he answered my ad to for the lighting kit. So um here it is. So you got four lights. Right on. You got four bulbs that are rated sixty five hundred K, so daylight. Fantastic. Uh some some diffusion stuff. Mm-hmm. And a whole ton of C forty sevens. That's awesome. So now tell me about. We already talked on the phone a little bit about about what you're doing. But, so you sure. started in marketing, and you're going into. Filming. Yeah, like I always liked doing like video, film and video type of stuff. I always did that like on the side, like kind of freelancey, and then. Uh, but I always had like a full time job, and so I decided to dive in head first and, uh, yeah, do what I wanted to do. And I uh, just got really tired of working for the man and, you know, essentially making someone else rich. And uh, Damn the man. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, so I worked with a lot of musicians and artists and stuff like that and, like, some small businesses. But still still got my uh, working on it. And my company's called Different Alphabet Productions. And Cool. Yeah, man. So you have stuff on, on like, online to show already? Yeah, or what? yeah, I'll give you my card, too. Oh, man. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, how long were you in, like, the vid film and video game? I mean, technically, I still am. You know? I guess so. It's yeah, always going to yeah, be a we part of me. About it, yeah. uh, but uh, you know, I'm always going to be uh, one foot doing the social media stuff and one foot doing the film stuff. Sure. I yeah. love to do the film stuff and the social media stuff is fun to do. Yeah. But what you know, like, um, the film is my passion. You mm -hmm. know, so there's, there's always going to be a part of it, and being able to go from like film to media, it's not that much of a jump. It's just kind of expanding what I've always been doing. Right. Of course. You know? Uh, a little bit of audio, then you know, like I'm trying to do some podcast stuff too. Yeah, know? yeah. I did a few. I did a podcast back in the day, but yeah. Yeah. So now, um, what? Um, who are your influences? Like, uh, like visually, like like when filmmakers? you went to school and you started looking through films and stuff. Gotcha. Who oh yeah, big big number one uh, is Kubrick for sure. Uh, I love Stanley Kubrick. I've seen all his films a bazillion times. Uh, he's my big uh, influence, or he just like. Uh, Wes Anderson is a big one, of course. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm on the spot right now, so no. <laughs> but uh, I, I really, I like a lot. I like a big diversity too. I, I think you can learn at least a little bit of something from everywhere you go. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, and I just love. Oh, I love a lot of like uh, music video directors, which is kind of why I want to work with a lot of musicians too. Like I love Michelle Gondry, and uh, God, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm blanking right now. Because uh, David Lynch, David Fincher. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, you get, pretty, you gotta pretty, have your top five ready. Yeah, I know. Top five pretty, video pretty directors. Boom, ones. you know? I should, yeah, you're right. Because this is the first time, maybe this is the first time this question's been asked, but it's gonna get asked a lot. So. That's true, yeah. Because people wanna find out about your style, they wanna find out about what, you yeah. know, like where, like how do I figure out who you're into, what you're from. Yeah, right? I need and to work on elevator pitch for myself. Totally, yeah. totally. Like, you, I mean, you're, you could get a marketing background, you gotta figure out, like, it's like yeah. you need to sell yourself. You know, yeah, well, I was never. Get. Yeah, I was never like in the marketing. I was never the marketing guy. I was always in the video department at marketing companies. Uh -huh. That's why. So I'm, I'm not like the Mr. Suave business guy who takes clients out for meetings. I'm slowly learning how to do stuff like that. So I'm getting better with the schmoozing part, but I yeah. like. I, I'm not a salesman. Like yeah, I never I took retail because yeah. I can't sell it worth a damn. Yeah. Not even myself. My 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 big marketing tool is I just try to be as open and transparent, and I just want to and like uh. I always tell uh, artists that like, yo, I don't want to make like a twenty thousand dollar music video. I just want to make something small that's for you, because there's a there's a big uh, un uh, undeveloped, uh, untapped market towards like small and like medium bands. Like everyone just goes for the big guys, and so, but because everyone just wants more money, but because I'm just working for myself and I've got a low overhead, like I can afford to make like a, uh, not like a cheap music video, but like one that's just like one or two k, like nothing huge that yeah. like any band can like afford and like I do payment plans and stuff like that like because I yeah. yeah and so and I got to work with the artists you know not with the label and not with like a committee like so it feels more like a collab than anything that's cool well yeah. hopefully th those lights get you started yeah that'd now, be, uh, thank you what I want you to do is the first thing that you shoot with them mm -hmm. I want to see it okay okay so you tell me uh, and so how do we find you online differentalphabet.com cool right on Thanks. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Best of luck. Take care. Take care, eh?